Hey, it's Adia. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you have been here before. Today, I'm going to be doing a really quick empties video, and you guys know what an empties video is, so I'm just going to get started. In no particular order, first up, I have this French Girl Lumiere body oil, and I got the Rose Lang scent. And I actually bought this Black Friday last year because I had seen this brand around a lot and they had a big sale, either Black Friday or Cyber Monday, sometime around that time. So I was like, let me go ahead and try this brand out. Unfortunately, the reason why it took me so long to finish it was just because I didn't love it. And despite it being a body oil, you know, its first ingredient is actually argan oil and then jojoba oil sunflower seed oil, evening primrose oil, etc. Like there are some really great oils in this, but it just wasn't that moisturizing for my body. And I just felt like I didn't really use it that much because I felt like I would end up using like a significant portion of the bottle each time to get the hydration that I needed. And so I would just kind of use it every now and then and just mix it in with whatever lotion I was using. So it took me a while to use up, but I wasn't really impressed by it. And especially it's only like a four ounce jar. So it's one of these things where you want a little to go a long way. And that wasn't my experience with this. So Unfortunately, I will not be buying this oil. I love the bottle though. I might keep it and just like mix up my own body oil to put in here because I really do like the bottle, but it was a miss for me. I guess I might as well keep with the things I'm not going to repurchase. So this is called, it says Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer with Echinacea Green Envy Honey. Let me read the description. It says, a long lasting lightweight moisturizer combining Echinacea Green Envy Honey triple hyaluronic acid complex and kupusu butter beads. So as described, it is a very lightweight moisturizer and I have normal combination skin, but actually I picked this up. I must have gotten it in like over the holiday season. I feel like this was in a set. And so I got this over the holiday season and at that time, it was obviously winter, and even though in California it's not super cold, I do tend to have the space heater on at my desk at work, or I'll turn the heater on at home. And so a moisturizer this lightweight probably was not something that I should have been testing out during the winter time when I would tend to prefer a heavier moisturizer. So although it smells great, it feels really nice on the skin, it sinks in, it's not heavy on the skin, it was a great moisturizer. I just was using it at the wrong time for my skin and what my skin needs. So I have so many moisturizers that I haven't felt the need to pick up a new one, but you know, say next summer rolls around, I need a new moisturizer. I could see myself giving this another shot, but as we're moving into the cooler months, I'm not going to be repurchasing this. I actually finished this a couple of months ago and forgot to mention it in my last favorites, but if you have oily skin, then this might be something wonderful, or if you're in a more humid climate or if you have any reason to want a very lightweight moisturizer, then I think this is really nice. But if you like a richer moisturizer or if you need something that's uh, heavier, then this probably isn't going to be what you're looking for. Next empty I have is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% plus Hyaluronic Acid 2%. So this I... I really like this. Um, lactic acid is a chemical exfoliator, but since it's paired with hyaluronic acid, it's also going to be hydrating. And so it's a great product to add into your evening skincare routine if you're dealing with texture, if you're dealing with dullness, if you're dealing with congested skin. This is something that is great to add to your routine. I am not going to be repurchasing right now just because I have so much skincare and I'm really, really, really trying to avoid repurchasing things if I have something else that I can use in the meantime. So I have a few other chemical exfoliators right now in my rotation that I want to use up before I'm going to buy anything, but I really like this. I think it's a great 
like I said, chemical exfoliator to add to your skincare routine. It's not super expensive. So this is a yes. All right, next I'm gonna talk about this Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. And this is kind of like a repairing or strengthening treatment that you put on your hair before you shampoo it. So usually I'll put this on like the night before I know I'm going to wash my hair. And it says you can use it once a week or for damaged hair, use it two to three times a week. And it says apply on damp hair, but I usually put it on dry hair and just leave it overnight. But this is something that is great if you have color treated hair, if you have relaxed hair, or if you have hair that's just otherwise damaged. It's not a moisturizer, it's like a repairing product. And basically I put it, I mostly concentrate it on the front of my hair where my curl pattern is looser from heat styling, which I don't do that much, and also just from pulling my hair back all the time. Um, up until like the last maybe two months, I would wear my hair pulled back in like a really tight bun like several days a week just because it's easier, but it means that the front of my hair just doesn't curl up as much. And so I, ha I do use this. I try to use it once a week. Sometimes I forget. I would love to commit to using it twice a week, but I just forget. And it's such a small bottle and it's pricey for this size bottle. I'm just like, I don't want to be going through like two bottles of these a month because each bottle is like $28, but it works. I repurchased this just like a couple weeks ago when Sephora had a sale and it really does work to repair your hair. So I recommend this without a doubt, but it is pricey. Next, I'm talking about this cake marshmallow mask and scrub. It is, um, I don't know if you can see, you can see it's like a clay mask, but marshmallow is the key ingredient. It has hydrating properties. So most clay masks tend to be very drying, but because the main ingredient in this is marshmallow, it is much more moisturizing than almost any other clay mask I've used. So I've mixed this with water. I've mis mixed this with rose water. Um, I've added like a drop of oil to it as well. I really like this mask. It's something that will help like decongest my skin, but it's not going to leave it super dry or tight or anything like that, like most clay masks. So I really like this. I carry this in stock at my store. So luckily I have easy access to it, but this is a great mask if you're looking for a clay mask that's not super drying. Next, I have this Mullen and Sparrow Soothing Face Mist. This is another product that I carry in my store, and this is great for oily skin or combination skin or skin that is reacting to something. And I say that because it has lavender and spearmint essential oils in it. And so, of course, lavender is very calming and soothing. Peppermint is very cooling and also soothing. So this is great. And I use this a lot this summer, like from being in the sun and you want to just like soothe your skin. It's really great for that. It's astringent as well because it has the witch hazel. So this is also wonderful after you've been like tweezing your eyebrows or if you've done any kind of like plucking, waxing, threading, anything like that on your face where your skin is irritated and you want to make sure you close the pores so you don't end up with like breakouts after you go through any kind of hair removal. So something like this is awesome for that because of the witch hazel and the lavender. Um, this is just something I used a lot this summer because I was in the sun so much. So I felt like my skin was more prone to reacting. So I love this. I will definitely continue to use it. Like I said, or I don't know if I did say, but this is also something that I carry at my store, Coveted Beauty. Next, I have this Josie Marin Argan Oil. And I pretty much always get these Argan Oil things when I see them as the Sephora um, bonus things. I don't know if this was something I got as one of the Sephora perks or if this was like in a set or something like that. But I always travel with some kind of 
oil that can be used on face, hair, and body. And it's often this Josie Marin argan oil because it's just nice when traveling to just have something that can be used all over. Like you can mix this in with your hotel lotion because I feel like hotel lotions are usually not very moisturizing at all. You can, I can put it on my hair. I can put it on my cuticles. I can put it on my skin if my skin is feeling like on my face if it's feeling really dry after traveling. So I love this. I will probably always repurchase this or buy, you know, redeem my points for this when I see it. So I love this. And last, I have my Great Skin Sunscreen. This is something I think I mentioned a couple of videos ago in my Summer Skin Essentials video. So this is a physical sunscreen as opposed to a chemical sunscreen. Many people prefer physical sunscreens because they don't have the same harsh chemicals. They can be less irritating to your skin. And certain chemicals in chemical sunscreens have been linked to adverse effects to your health. And so that's why many people prefer physical sunscreen. This is my physical sunscreen of choice. I love this one. Um, this is like my go-to everyday sunscreen. And the only time I don't wear this is if I know I'm going to be sweating a lot because it's a physical sunscreen. So if you're sweating or swimming or anything like that, basically it's going to be washed away. Whereas a chemical sunscreen is often going to be more water resistant. And so if I know I'm gonna be sweating a lot or if I'm gonna be like in and out of the pool, then I will more likely opt for a chemical sunscreen like the Glossier one. But most days I'm just going to and from work. <laughs> and those days I use this one. So that's my little sunscreen spiel. I will link a blog post going more in depth about the difference between different types of sunscreen so that you are educated about it and can choose for yourself what you prefer to wear. So that's it on my recent empties. Let me know if you guys are curious about anything that I've mentioned. I do hope to have a skincare routine video coming up soon, or maybe not a skincare routine, but like my most used skincare things. I think I'm going to try to do something like that pretty soon. But if you have any other requests on videos you'd like to see, definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It means a lot to me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!